Hello and welcome to my video. Today I'm just going to do a super quick tutorial and show you how I turned my red dot on my CO2 laser to a much finer red dot. Going from this larger dot down to this fine point dot. Which in my opinion gives much more precision when lining up cuts and it also helps a lot for doing jigs using the print and cut feature which I will probably show how I do in another video. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is, as you can see here is the laser, that gives you your red dot, and I'm going to just take that out from its housing using one of the Allen wrenches that came with my machine. So all that I did to get my finer point red dot was to go into Lightburn, and cut a circle that's 0 0.410 by 0 0.410 and then put another circle in the center of that that's 1 32nd of an inch round and cut that and I just cut it out of 8th inch MDF but you could probably cut it out of any 8th inch material that you have around I wouldn't do any thicker material but you could try, I guess, if that's all you had. But I'm going to do 8th inch MDF. And so now, go back to the housing, now that I've got my piece cut, and all I do is put that circle right into the housing. And it fits nice and snug. Don't need any glue or anything. You can remove it if you don't like it. But then you get it in there, and then you just put the laser back in, tighten that Allen bolt, and then realign your laser. Realign your laser to your red dot. And that's it. So to realign my red dot to my laser, all I do is I pulse the laser, and then I move the dot till it's over that pulse. And you'll notice, especially now that it's a finer point, the light changes when it actually hits your mark. You'll see it dims because the uh, red dot is going down into that little dot that you just engraved. So it makes it really easy to get it all lined up. And once you get it good, you just tighten everything down and that's it, you're set. So I know this was a super simple, quick tutorial, but I have found that it to be very helpful to me, and I just wanted to let others know just in case it could help them out also. If it did help you, please give it a like and consider subscribing. I plan to make other tutorials with Lightburn and my laser as time goes by, if you're an older subscriber, I did originally plan on making videos about my Glowforge, but I ended up having a lot of issues with my Glowforge and ended up having to return it and bought this laser, which is a Orion Motor Tech, uh, which is also the same company as OM Tech, and I have loved it so far. See now how when I have it set, once I pulse it, the light changes? But please consider liking and subscribing this video if it helped you at all. And have a great day.